They released your dad? The paper said there was another suspect. Mara. It was me. I shot Carrie. Mara, oh my God. Okay, my dad said that... We... I know, he was just trying to protect me. They all were. My dad took the blame and, and Buzz and Billy and Ed, they all just backed him up. They wanted to keep us all out of it. When I finally remembered what happened, I couldn't let my dad take the blame for what I did. So I told Jeffrey O'Neill. <sighs> Carrie shot Buzz, and she was going to go after my father, too. So I, I grabbed the gun, and if I hadn't done anything, she would have killed my father. And who knows, maybe everybody else. Oh, Mara. Hello, Danny. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. You? Never better. Good. Actually, I'm glad I ran into you. You have a minute. I want to talk to you. About? Um, about campaign tactics. Such as? Limiting ourselves to civic matters and not personal ones. Well, you haven't seen any negative campaigning from me. No, I haven't. Not yet. I believe I'm about to be offended. Well, I hope not. I just want to make sure we have an understanding. Look, Danny, if this is about your past, I told no. you before that you can't run for it. I'm not going to ignore it because there's going to be some point in this campaign when we're going to talk about law and order. And I was elected several times to represent the law. On the other hand, you were known for breaking it. I know, Ross, and I'm ready for that. Knock yourself out. Well, then what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. I just don't want you to take any shots at my wife. Why in God's name do you believe it necessary to have this conversation? You think I would make a campaign issue out of Michelle? You're representing Mara in the shooting at the fairgrounds, right? Yeah, how is that relevant? Ross, Michelle was there. If reports were made to the police that said I Michelle know. wasn't even in the building when the shooting occurred. I know, and that's true. So? Ross, you and I both know how things can be spun. Michelle was in the vicinity of a shooting. I'm running for mayor. A candidate's private life is not always off limits. We've known each other a long time, Danny. Who do you think I am? All I'm saying is you can drag whatever you want to this campaign. Carmen, my past, my bank accounts, Tony, whoever you may have seen me with, the color of my shirt, I don't care. But leave Michelle and Robbie alone. Hey. Hey there. What? How did you do that? We were just on the phone. Because I was just across the street and I need a breather. After what? I dropped uh, Robbie off at his play date today, I went yeah. over, I spent an hour at the Hotline Center. Then I arranged a ladies' lunch at the country club to talk up my handsome husband for mayor. Yeah, nice. Then I went over to the clinic. Now, after I'm here, I gotta leave. Okay, I gotta go all right, to okay, you I... win. Oh, I win what? You what? win what the, do I the win? contest of whoever can cram the most activity in the one day. You gotta slow down, I can't. Right? I can't. Well, I've you, lost a lot of time. To. And, you know, with everything that's been going on and happening the last few months, you know, I didn't spend enough energy into being the best candidate's wife that I can be. And that's all gonna change now. Wow, um, hi, Michelle. Um, I'm starting to think this is the hottest hangout in Springfield. Uh, you stay here long enough, you see everyone you know. That's true. <laughs> you do. So what's up? Not much. Michelle just found me here, and we're enjoying the peace and quiet before heading home to our three-year-old. That's really nice. You okay? You look like you're rattled. Me? I, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm just excited about my guy. Bill Lewis. Mr. Head of Lewis Construction. Yeah, you know what? That's amazing. I can't believe what's going on with him. Mm -hmm. He's really grown up. You know, you yeah. should tell him, because this way he'd start believing it. Well, I gotta go. Hey, well, we should celebrate. Absolutely. I will give you a call. <laughs> okay, what is up with Eden? She couldn't get away from us fast enough. Mm. I think she's just intimidated by you. Oh, please. You're so sexy and beautiful and amazing. Bill's first love. Oh, Who wouldn't be intimidated? That. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I'm nice to her now. I now? I mean, I, I hope <laughs> that that's, you know. Honey, it's not you. She's always in crisis. Half the time, she brings it on herself. <sighs> yeah. Well, let's hope she calms down for Bill's sake, you know. 
Beatrice? She's She went that way. Ah, uh, yeah, she had something to do. We're going to catch up later. Up, oh, I'll see you too. Hey, 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 hang on, Louis. Hmm. What'd I do? Congratulations. Oh, that, yeah. Mr. Head of Louis Construction? Oh, yes, 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 but you can still call me Bill. For now. Oh, can we? Yes, but I, you know, I still have my priorities straight. We're going to get your husband into the mayor's office. Yes, That's yes, right. we are. Mm -hmm. We were actually yes. just talking about that. Mm -hmm. Me and my one-woman campaign machine here. Yeah, she she scares me. Now, you I can handle, but uh, <laughs> she's a lot tougher than she looks. Oh, yes, she is. Well, uh, it's been fun. I got to go. Big night ahead. Are you celebrating? Uh, well, I hope so. See ya. Later. Good. He seems happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. We need a big night of our own. You know what? Don't you think? We need to focus. We've got we work to do. Ross is doing really well in the polls. Don't be surprised. He's an amazing guy, just like you. And you knew this I was know that, be a very honey. challenging and, race. Yes, and I know I've got to pull out all the stops to beat him. I know. Exactly. Exactly. What if I don't? He will. Or what if I don't beat him? Will I disappoint you? Will I break your heart? Well, what about you? You know, we've never talked about this. I mean, what if this doesn't happen for you? Is it going to break your heart? I win or lose, I'll be okay. Yeah. But it would be nice if he won. <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. It'd be, be great. I want this, honey. I really do. I know I want you this. do. And you know what? And you'd be really great. I think so. I mean, look at everything you've done with Fifth Street and all your other projects. Mm -hmm. You're an example. No, you are. You are an example to kids. Idea. To kids who've turned their lives upside down. You showed them that they can turn it all around if they're willing to work at it. Oh, the pressure. Uh, you can handle it, please. And Springfield will be lucky to have you. Well, we'll find out about that soon enough. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do everything, everything I can to help you, really. Okay. I know what you can do for me. Yeah, what's that? Um, I want to go on a date with you on election night. Me too. Mm-hmm. Win or lose, just you and me. I want to know that I can look forward to a special evening with just my wife. Does that sound good? That sounds wonderful. Because whether or not I win this election, I win. If I can look into your eyes at the end of the night and know that you love me. You've already won me a million times over. Well, it's getting dark. How long have we been sitting here? I have no idea. Well, we have to get going because I promised Robbie that I would make him brownies yeah. and read him bedtime oh, stories. Oh, you go, super mom. I've got to come through for my boys. And what about me? Do I get brownies and bedtime stories later? If you could. I'll be good. All right, Ready? let's go. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I want to make sure I've got your word. I promise. You and me, election night, date. It's a date.